given the average uh, energy of a neutrino is um, this and the flux is given as such, um, what would the total energy output be equal to? Well, first of all, the neutrino energy flux, which is given by the average energy uh, divided by the area, is going to be 4.2 meters per meter squared. And this is 87, and the units will be joules per meter squared, right? Where we've just converted the top uh, mega electrovolts into joules and left at the bottom as it is. Remember the conversion one electrovolt is. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Well, if we now, now assume that the neutrinos were emitted isotropically, that means they were homogeneous and they were emitted at a constant rate. Um, also, given that the distance from where the neutrinos were emitted to, uh, and, uh, to the Earth, uh, more specifically the LMC where the neutrinos are detected, if we take that distance to be 50 kiloparsecs, um, then the total energy, right, which is uh, um, the total energy output from the source is going to be equal to 4 pi d squared, right, this is just the surface area of um, a, a sphere multiplied by the uh, uh, neutrino energy flux. Um, which is, which is uh, what we've calculated before, right? Times E A over A. And now if we just substitute in the values um, and we have to convert kiloparsecs into uh, meters in this case, and that's an easy conversion. And we just substitute it in all the values, we get 2.6 times 10 to the 45 joules. Now, I'll explain this a bit more, right? Um, in this case, so we, we're assuming that, so let's say this is the source and you know it's spreading out um, all the neutrinos homogeneously, isotropically, so they're all the same, i.e. the density is the same, they're being emitted at the same rate, uh, and it looks the same everywhere. Uh, and so at some point, it fills out you know, a sphere and we've just measured what the flux is within like a unit of that sphere, right? So imagine that, so that's the Earth, right? That's where we are observing uh, where the neutrinos have uh, been detected. And at the LMC, the detector on Earth, we detect the flux, you know, and that's what was given at the start. And now we're told to find what the total energy output, right, from the, from the source is. So that's why we have to multiply the flux by the, the total surface area, right? The total surface area of the sphere and also by the total energy flux. And when we do this, we find the total energy that's being emitted from the source.